Hello everyone. I welcome you all to the session. Today we shall discuss about the introduction to forest fire and its disaster management. In this session we are going to discuss on 10 important points namely basics of forest fire, components of forest fire, factors responsible for forest fire, types, causes, word distribution, recent bushfire of Australia, scenario in India, impact and disaster management. Forest fire is the most common hazard. It is also known as wildfire, vegetation fire, grass fire, desert fire, hill fire, peat fire, veld fire, bush fire, surface fire, running crown fire and also spot fire. Forest fire are generally uncontrollable fires. It destroys forested area and causes great damage to people and wildlife. Generally it is caused by lightning or human negligence. According to a survey it has been found that 80% of forest fire is caused by human activities. Wildfires can spread in an area of about 0.25 acre to 400 square kilometer area. Now the components of forest fire. Basically there are three components that is fuel, heat and oxygen which are responsible for fire production. These are known as forest fire triangle as you can see in the figure. In order to suppress forest fire it is essential to remove one of these component among the triangle. Now the factors responsible for the forest fire. Forest fire generally occurs when climate is moist which allows growth of tremendous trees. This is then extended by hot and dry period. This is followed by an exaggerated summer due to no rain for many months. As a result, forest becomes littered with dry leaves and twigs. Lastly, forest fire is caused due to slightest spark or negligence. Now the types of forest fire. There are basically six types of forest fire. Firstly, creeping fire. It spreads slowly and burns with low flame. Secondly, ground fire which affects lower canopy and destroys shrubs and herbs. Thirdly, surface fire which burns shrubs and trees of the middle canopy. Ground fire destroys the entire upper canopy of a forest. Crawling fire spreads from bush to bush whereas jumping or spotting forest fire occurs by burning of branches and leaves carried away by the wind. Here are few pictures showing creeping fire, ground fire, surface fire and crown fire disaster caused by forest fire. Now the causes of forest fire. Forest fire are generally caused by two factors that is natural or environment causes and man-made causes. Firstly we will discuss about natural or environmental causes. Natural causes the first thing comes is the lightning high atmospheric temperature, extreme dry climatic condition, wind speed and wind direction, volcanic eruption, sparks from rock fall or rolling stones which causes friction, level of moisture in soil, duration of dry spell, burning of coal seams, spontaneous combustion and friction of bamboos swaying due to high wind velocity. 
Now the man-made causes. Man-made causes occurs due to setting of fires of forest by villagers. It is caused due to the conflicts related to land ownership, negligence, recreational activities, encroachment upon forest land, tribal tradition and customs, cigarettes or sparks from equipments, shifting cultivation, activities which are carried to drive away wild animals and burning farm residues. Now we will look into the word distribution of the forest fire. As you can see in the map, most common areas of forest fires are Australia, South Africa, US and Canada. Recently, Australia faced a critical situation due to bushfire. Australia has generally hot and dry climate. It has 134 million hectares of forest land. Bushfires are common every year in summer. Last year, Australia faced devastating bushfire in late 2019, which became worst in February 2020. It affected 55 million hectares of forest land. Over 18 million hectares area have been burned and 3,000 homes were destroyed. More than 1 billion mammals, birds and reptiles lost their lives. 25,000 koalas died in kangaroo islands and 8,000 koalas died in New South Wales. Beside this, harmful smoke caused several health problems like asthma and it also caused premature death. If we see the scenario of forest fire in India, India has about 76.4 million hectare of forest cover. According to FSI report 2019, about 21.4% of forest cover in India is prone to fire. Forest fire occurs mainly in northeast regions and central India, Garhwal Himalayas and central Indian states namely Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Odisha and Chhattisgarh which can be visible in the map shown in the slide. Now the impacts of forest fire. Forest fire causes extensive damage to the property and human life, forest degradation, causes imbalance in nature, endangers biodiversity, causes loss of valuable timber resources, degradation of catchment area, extension of plants and animals, loss of wildlife, reduction of forest cover, causes global warming, drought, rise in temperature, snow melt and also causes cyclic changes such as El Nino and La Lina. It causes delayed or erective behavior of monsoon, increase in percentage of carbon dioxide in atmosphere, destroys organic nutrients, erode nutrients and creates flash flood, increase in atmospheric pollution, changes in the microclimate, soil erosion, decrease in the productivity of soil, causes ozone layer depletion, causes health problems and loss of livelihood for tribal people. Now we will look into the disaster management aspect which is divided into three categories before forest fire, during forest fire and after forest fire. Before forest fire, it is very important to build an emergency kit, make a family communication plan, use approved fire resistant materials in building, create defensible space around your home, plant fire resistant shrubs and trees, keep all trees and shrub limbs trimmed, install electrical lines underground if possible, remove dead branches.
teach each family member how to use a fire extinguisher and show them where it is kept. Regularly dispose of newspaper and rubbish. Keep battery operated radios and flashlight. Adhere to all local fire and building codes. Teach children about fire safety. Post fire emergency telephone numbers. Plan several escape routes away from your home. Spread education and environment awareness. Adopt remote sensing and GIS technology in fire detection and introduce forest fuel modification system at strategic points. Now during forest fire, it is very important to watch the speed and direction of the fire and smoke. If you are advised to evacuate, evacuate immediately, take disaster supply kit, arrange temporary housing at a friend or a relative home, wear protective clothes, Shut off natural gas or fuel oil supplies at the source. After forest fire, if you have evacuated, do not enter your home until fire official advise you. Avoid damaged or fallen power lines, poles and drowned fires. Follow public health guidance. Discard any food which has been exposed to heat, smoke or pollution. Do not use water that you think may be contaminated. Check with fire officials before attempting to return to your home. Coordinate with strategic fire centers among ministers. Practice fire management extension and research program. Vigorous follow-up actions is needed and you should always remain calm during and after forest fire. Hence, as we all know that forest fire causes imbalance in nature, endangers in biodiversity, reduces fauna and flora well, so it is necessary to raise public awareness because our 1% participation will be added to 99% which will contribute to 100%. By this we have come to the end of the session. Hope the session would have clarified your concepts related to forest fire. For any other further queries, kindly mention in the comment box. If you like this video, kindly like, share, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell button for further notification of the channel. Thank you.